Robinson. Robinson? Can you come and help me collect these eggs? There's one in there too low for me to get. Don't break it now. Don't break it now. Look here, all my pegs all over the green. Oh, the green. She can't bend down to pick them up because she's too stout. Too stout, my my, too much porridge, me, isn't it? There you are, Aunt Dorcas. Sorry, we had the washing, Aunt Dorcas. Oh, that reminds me of us for the market day. Get our provisions. Oh, I know. A note from Tom Parker for Piggery Porkham. For Piggery Porkham? A note? No answer expected. Can't stop Ma's dash. Can't come today. Cart broken. Yours and obliged, Tom Carter. Oh, oh my, my. Oh, I thought we were going to get to market. We get to market. We've got no provisions left. No. We'll walk. Oh, how can we walk? I mean, it's five miles by road and we're too fat for the short way. We are not too fat for the styles. The styles are too thin for us. Are you sure you can squeeze through while I stay at home? I mean, we must sell those eggs while they're fresh, you know. And why, the soap I use for washing is almost gone. What about if you went down there just before dinner? You Couldn't you just squeeze, squeeze through the styles? Yeah. No, I think I should stick fast, and so should you. Mm, so should I, yeah. yeah. Venture to send Robinson by the footpath to Stein. Oh, oh, yes, please, Anne. Oh, 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 yeah, yes, please. I, I'm not sure. <sighs> I mean, I scarcely like to send him on his own. No. Although he is quite sensible for his size. Yeah. You know, the strange folk about on market day. Yeah, yeah. strange folk, especially yeah, on market day. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Then we'll, we'll do, do it. it. Yeah. We'll do it. Robinson, you will go to Stoneman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to market. I'm going to market. <laughs> now, don't forget to wash behind his ears. That's the last piece of soap. You'll have to get some more, Robinson. It'll be on the list. Have sandwiches for your lunch. Yeah. Bread, and jam, strawberry jam. Oh, oh, what a treat! Show. <laughs> now, Robinson, can you remember the list, the shopping list? It's needle and cotton for sewing. Yeah. Soap, yeast for baking, wool for darning, needle and cotton, <laughs> soap, yeast. Wool for darning. Yeah. What's well, only four? Should be more than four, shouldn't there? Cabbage seeds. That's it. Well, that only makes five. Yeah. Well, there's definitely two more than four. Because there was two more than the four knots he had in his handkerchief he tied to remind him, you see? It's six to buy. Six to buy? Yes. Yeah. Six yeah. to buy, yeah. isn't it? Because it was needle and cotton. Yeah. Uh, soap. Yeah. Yeast, wool, yeah. seed, yeah. and tea. Tea. Oh, no, tea. That's, it. That's the one. Tea. tea. Yeah. All right. Now you tell me the list, Robinson. You tell it me. Oh. Um. Needle and cotton. Yeah. Uh, yeast. Yeah. Um. Yeast. Needle and cotton. Yeah. Um. Wool. Seeds. Yes. Cabbage seeds. Yes, dear. Um, needle and cotton, yeah, yeast and what was seeds. Um, oh, uh, no, I, I, I don't know, I, I really, I don't, I don't. Maybe we should write it down for it. Yeah, but we're not very good at writing. No, we're not. He's not very good at reading. No, I know. I know, I know. Wash me, dear. What's this? Oh, wait, wave them bye bye. Oh, oh, spoons. No, no. Oh, I know, 
I know. Soap. No, soap is one and tea. 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 Got it. Yeah, tea. All right, then, come on. I watch those things at Mr. Mumby, but you may have to go on to Ginger and Pepper and Pickle. Yeah, please, Renault. Yeah. Now tell him I'll be there next week with his washing. Yes, yes, Aunt Dorcas, yes, Aunt Dorcas. Oh, no. Can I go now? Doing washing now. Listen. You come and sit down. Now yeah, come and sit down. Yeah. We've got something important to tell you. Ah. You are going to Stamon. Now that is a big town, and there are things in a big town that are bad for a pig. Like? Like gunpowder. Yes. You must avoid gunpowder. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out for sausages and dark, narrow passages. Yeah. And look out for ships' cooks. Pick them out by their looks. Yeah. Shoes, ships and sealing wax and offers of piggy bags. Yeah. And gunpowder. Yeah. yeah. Pantechnicans, publicans, pelicans. Look after your ring. That's the number one thing. You won't forget that, will you? Will you, dear? No. Oh, no. Yeah, that, no. will you? No. No. Now, no. all of those things are to be remembered, yes. but most of all... Most of all... Most of all... You home before twilight. Yeah. Good boy, Hans. I oh, will remember all that. All right. Good boy, Robin. Good boy, Robin. Good boy. Don't forget the wool and the soap. No. And don't Good talk boy. to any ship's cooks. Yeah, and cabbage seed and yeast. Yeah, and the pantechnicans and the gunpowder. Yeah. The gunpowder. Yeah. Avoid yeah. those. I wish we hadn't let him go. You and your tiresome washing. My washing, indeed. It was your dynamo and eggs. Oh, bother Tom and his cart. Why couldn't he have stayed out of the ditch until after market day? Shoo! Go on, shoo! Shoo! Get out of there! Go on, you go! Morning. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. Wrong way. Is heavy. If I eat my jammies now, I not have so much to carry. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. I'll pick these flowers and sell them in the market for my very own self. One. Two. Four. And I will tie them with this length of darning wool. I will buy some sweets with my pennies. Now, how many do I have? I got one from Aunt Dorcas, one from Aunt Porcus, part one from those flowers. How many is that? Pirate! Houseboy! Oh! oh. <coughs> Hello! Hello! It's little Pig Robinson, am I right? <laughs> yes. yes, well, of course, I usually am right. And where are you off to this fine June morning? Please, sir, uh, Mr. Pepperell, I'm going to market. All by yourself? Well, where's Miss Dorcas and Miss Porcus? Not ill, I trust. No, no, I trust not. Sir, the carrier's cart is broken, and my aunts are too wide for the stoils, so I might go instead. Why don't you keep a dog to do errands for her, eh? <laughs> now, what are you going to do in style? Hmm? I should go to Mr. Mumby, sir, to buy tea and salt. And yeast, and ah, oh, yes. Well, that's the road into town. Perhaps you'd best keep to the path. That's not altogether the best place to be for a young pig on market day. But you look a bright sort of young fella. You just have to learn to say no. Yes, sir. I, I mean, no, sir. I shall, sir. No. Here's a penny for you to buy yourself some sweets. 
Well, you'd better hurry up, otherwise there'll be nothing to buy and nothing left to sell at the market. Take care of yourself in town. My best regards to your aunt. Yes, thank you, Mr. Pepperell, sir. Oh, my, oh, my. Perhaps I should go home with my pennies. Or I could buy some sweets and share them with my aunts. Yes. Walking by on his hind legs. Do the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, steer yourself in her porky. Yeah. 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 Walk high on legs. Whoa, whoa, steady, girl. Yeah. You can't stop Robinson. She's heading for home. Running away with me. Bye. Steady, girl. Why are you on your own? Not sensible enough. It was that note from Tom Carter. The aunt sent me to market <laughs> when they couldn't ride here. Oh, I'm not too late to sell their eggs, am I? Not a bit! Bags of time. Follow me! It's important to make it look well. Ah, I could do with some of your eggs. That's what I was sent out to buy. Miss Rose needs a dozen eggs. They're lovely brown eggs. Fresh laid today. Mm. I collected them myself. Mm. That's how I know. And they've got cauliflowers. Yeah, I'll take the eggs. No cauliflowers. Can't stand them. Back soon. Don't leave without me. Well, I'll buy a cauliflower, lovey. Bless your little turned up nose. Did you grow them in your own garden? Oh, no, no. I don't want any eggs, lovey. I keep eggs myself. Just a cauliflower. Oh, and a bunch of daffodils for my front room. Here you are, ma'am. Here. Mrs. Perkins, come and look at this little pig. All stuck up at a stall on his own. Now, have you ever seen anything like that? Oh, Mrs. Perkins will take some of your eggs, won't you, dear? They are new late, aren't they? Yes, ma'am. Only one is cracked when I tripped on the way here. New laid, you say? And only one is cracked. Now, I call that real honest. They're still good for frying, isn't that right, Mrs. Perkins? Mrs. Perkins will take you a dozen eggs, dear. Look at the lovely little pig. And look at his beautiful rose ring. <laughs> oh, primroses are nice. I shall buy these for your two little girls. Did you pick them yourself? Yes, all wrapped in a lovely bit of wool. You're a credit to your parents. That you are. <laughs> I'll have that collie in the daffs. Ah, uh, tea, salt, yeast, uh, needle and cotton, uh, cabbage seed, um, Darning wool. <gasps> Darning wool! I tried to pattern round those primroses. Oh my, oh my. Where's those girls? Where's those girls? Have you seen those girls? Yes, that'll last you round the world and back again. It's eleven pence halfpenny. Will there be anything else? Aye, Captain. I need a side of bacon for me shipmates' breakfast. They relish a good slice of bacon when the wind blows fresh. <laughs> it's the policy of this establishment never to sell anything of pork. I suggest you try elsewhere. No, oh, no offense, Captain. Not a bit in the world. <laughs> 
small jest, as you might say. I'll find my breakfast victuals in another quarter. Good day to you, Captain. And to you, young sir. I... I'm sorry. I'm so glad your aunts aren't here. They do get upset. Don't worry, no harm done. Back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. They're not bad folk, these sailors. Being at sea so long, they lose the knack of civilization. I've often wished I'd been to sea, but it's too late now. So I sell things to sailors and hear their tale. Mermaids, sea monsters, lands far away where the people have feet as big as umbrellas to keep off the sun. Sometimes the sailors are away for ten years without seeing land. So they get tired of eating fish and that's why they want bacon. Well, what can I do for you, young Robinson? Huh? Um, oh, I see yeast. Oh, salt. That's good. Um, uh, needle and cotton. Um, oh. oh, that was my father's. You're not done all, then. Ooh, you should be all by now. Please, Mum. The garden is sold with primroses with a pattern for the darning wool wrapped round them. I can't remember which colour to get. I remember that wool round the primrose posy. It was a kind of blue, like the socks I'd knitted for my man Sam. You come with me to fleecy flocks. I do remember the colour. Well, I'll do. Well, I'm sure she's here somewhere. <laughs> Just have it tidy up. Don't want the place getting in a mess. I am going to get round to tidying up, but it's a bad time of year now. Bales and bags arriving all the time. You want some slippers? No, Fleecy. I don't want slippers. Darning wool. Darning wool. Like I bought for my Sam's socks. No, no. Not net and needles. Darning wool. <laughs> you want black or white, ma'am? Three ply, was it? I know of it somewhere. Sim Ram came in this morning with the Uampton clip. I'm completely cluttered with his clip. No, no, no. Blue darning wool on cards. Here. How does that look? Oh, I'm sure that'll be fine, Mrs. Betsy. Thank you very much for helping me. Thank you, Miss Lucy. <laughs> now, it is so late, I must get home. And if you'll take my advice, you will go ahead home too, before twilight. It's a long uphill road to Piggery Parkham, and there's some queer folk about. And don't go talking to strangers. Balloons! Three for eight. Up or down, up or down. Where do I buy yeast for my aunt's bacon? Oh, they might be able to help me. See? <laughs> easy there, shipmate. <laughs> Ride easy, me hearty. You're not to fear from honest Ben Cookson, man of the sea. What? Not a word for your pal. Not so much as a how do you do. How do you do, Mr. Man? I mustn't 
talk to strangers. I don't know who you are, shipmate. You're speaking to Ben Cookson, friend to all, seaman on the pound of candles a ship in the ginger trade. And to show real friendship, naval style, let me offer you some snuff. Oh, I'm too young for snuff. Although my aunt's are partial to it. Would you like a barley sugar? Barley sugar? Oh, <laughs> you couldn't have said a better word. <laughs> um, uh, where are you uh, steering with your basket, shipmate? Oh, I'm enough to get some yeast from the iron. And so you shall. But I'll wager you a bad apple to a barrel of rum. You've never been on board a ship, am I right? Yes, well, I've never been on a ship. And I really don't think... Well, what did I say? Isn't Ben the very man for sizing up a fella? Go on. <laughs> Robinson! You want to be on your way home? It'll be dark by the time you reach the farm. Look out! Look out below! Oh, you'll be careful! You'll squash us all! Now, where was it? Oh dear, oh dear. No! Wait! Uh, did you ever see anything so fine in your life? Wow. Just a quick peek on board and it's back home to the farm with you. It's not a chance that comes to a pig every day, you know? Well, not a pig such as yourself. <laughs> you find silver ring and all. <laughs> Fifty-three loaves of stale bread and seventeen barrels of sour beer for the sailors. <laughs> and lots of cream cakes for my tea. Now, we'll also need three sides of best uh, cake. Um, Captain. And, uh... 33 pounds of apples for the sauce. Ah, welcome aboard the Pound of Candles, Master Pig. I hope you'll enjoy your trip. A uh, visit, as the saying goes. <laughs> sure I shall, sir. You mustn't call me sir, young'un. I be Mr. Mate. The only sir is the captain there. Him you must call sir. Tis a, tis a custom at sea, as you might say. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Mr. Mate. Ah, champion. As the saying goes. Oh. Um, Beg pardon. Sorry. I don't. I don't know. I, oh, are you unwell? Oh yeah. Those, those are sails. The wind blows and it pushes the boat along. I learnt that from my cousin, Tom Pig. He went on the skylight around the bay for his hey, birthday. Hey, get along, you yeah. scraggy monkey. I'll have you for a pair of ear muffs. <laughs> my rough nautical way of talking. It's all a jest. Ah, uh, yeah, I'd like to go home now. I have to be back at Piggery Pork and by dark, my aunt said. And so you shall, but not before you have a nice hot cup of Ben's tea to warm your inner. And what would you say to a muffin? Muffin. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Not all right then. Just one. Thank you very much for asking. I've got a few crumpets down in the galley. And some ginger jam. Oh, I like that. I thought you would. Hands to the capstan. Loose heads. Stand to loft to loose topsails. Hands to loft. Ease off the mouth. What do you say to a seaman's grub? Does it suit your fancy? That's <laughs> ah, lovely. Thank you for asking. It's just like shaw sure, grub. It's very good. Sure is good. Lovely scoff. Now, I've made you a nice cup of tea and I'll put a little grog in it to give you a lift for your journey home. Try it. Oh, it seems to be tilting over. I only like flat shit. Now that's the men loading all the heavy stuff. It'll come back level again in a minute. Whoa. What, what did you say was in it? Oh, it tastes funny. Oh, it's funny. Grog. 
That's a drink that sailors take to make them happy. Drink it all up and you'll feel happy too. Oh, thank you ever so much for my visit to the ship, Mr. Ben. I to. I must go outside now. Oh. Let, let me go first. Make sure it's safe now. Quite safe for you to go out. <laughs> What's happened to all the land? Why has it moved away from us? Why are we surrounded with wet water? Well, well, I never did. The captain must have set sail when we was feeding our faces down below. Who'd have thought it? I don't want to go out to sea. I'm not built to go to sea. I've got to be on by Troy, like my aunt said. Elf! Elf! I've been picnapped! Oh. oh, this should be Robinson's job. He's so much bendier than I. Where can he be? Yes, where can he be? He promised to be home by twilight. By twilight? Twilight, yes. And I've made crumpets for him for his tea. Crumpets for his tea? Yeah. Well, let's look if we can see him. Well, I shall certainly see him if he's there to be seen. Look at that lovely, lovely thing. What, dear? What are you looking at? I thought those were your seeing things a long way away glasses. These are my glasses for seeing things further away than a book, but not quite so far away as a mountain glasses. Oh. You tell me what you see. Well, I can see a lovely little boat out in the blue water. Oh. Oh. Do you think it's going to some far tropic land full of Zulus and Eskimos? Tropic land? Fiddlesticks! I thought you were raving at Robinson. Where has that thoughtless pig got to? Oh! Oh, 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 I've been taken out to sea. Oh, everything is sloping. Oh, everything is sideways on a boat. Oh, oh, oh. Figs aren't meant to go to sea. No, figs are meant to be in flat places, flat, dry places. You'll be all right, young man. Oh, help, help somebody. Hey, help hold me. your noise, little pig. We'll have to turn you into, now come on, forward, forward to the galley where you belong. Come on, get a move on. Right now, cast off your clothes and bunts. Not in there, young man. That's for the skipper, not for the likes of you. You come along with me, I'll show you. Yes, Mr. Ben, I have to find the galley. We don't say yes on board. We says aye, aye. And the galley is the kitchen. You'd best get my ranking right now that we're seaborne. What is your ranking, Mr. Ben? Cook. Uh. Mr. Mumby? Mr. Mumby? Oh. Mr. Ladies? Oh, Mr. Mumby. You have heard the terrible news, haven't you? About Robinson. About, about little Pip Robinson. Uh, he's gone missing. Oh, He's completely dear. missing, all of him. We're trying to find out if anyone has seen him with anyone. Well, ladies, I'll help you all I can. Oh, let me see. Um, he bought some cabbage seeds. Yeah. Uh, some tea. Yeah. Uh, Now, <laughs> now they make good spot as a cure for the C6 and 06. <laughs> That's best morning porridge oats, that is. Capital grub. <laughs> I'm definitely coming with someone. Or was it no one? Or I'm both. Definitely. Can't you remember? Uh -huh. this from the captain's galley for you. They say mermaids eat ship's anchors as a snack. That's how angry the sea air makes you. 
We'll have you rounded jolly in no time. Ah. Come on, open up, open up. <laughs> oh, poor little piggy, where can you go to? Come on, son, round. Let it ring a bell. Bell? Bell? Bell! Yes, that's right. He did have a ring. He needs a... He needs a... No! Let me see. He was with a man with a pipe. Quiet, everybody! Quiet! Was he a sailor? Aboard the pound of candles? Of course. Silly question. He's stolen him for a meal. Heading for the South Seas. Oh. He'll never see his dear little face again. Back in a year. Good vessel in the ginger trade. I'll pick up my packs. Who'll collect my eggs? Oh, poor little Clara. Poor little Robinson. Must be so unhappy. So unhappy. Shouldn't you take some exercise after all that food? That party? I said, should you not take some exercise after all that food? Didn't know you talked. I thought you just looked at people. You're putting on far too much weight. Far too quickly. They keep bringing me meals. Pardon me for being rude. It was not me. It was my food. Have you asked yourself why they feed you so well, have you? They don't bring me food. I have to hunt for rats and mice and go fishing. Ooh, just think it over. You get out of here. I've told you before, I won't have you lolling about. Go on, clear off. What a beastly creature. <laughs> you have to watch out and mind that she doesn't wake up one morning having fallen overboard and drowned the saying goes. Uh, just our little joke. You'll have to pardon us rough sailor men. <laughs> well, you look the picture of health, I'll say. Yes, yeah, another month and you'll be just right. But, uh, you'll, you'll have um, more than um, more than what you have uh, at the moment, uh, if you get my meaning. Aye, aye, Mr. Mate. I'll let it out easy. I do think I suit a life aboard ship, but I do miss my aunt. Why do you keep feeding me? That's the way it ought to be. A lone porker stranded at sea with no family to look after him. As the saying goes, well, we're your family now. Just wait until Equinox. Can you finish that what happened, from Sam? Me my, uh, we get to Stymouth. You just settle down. That's easy, as the saying goes. Now, where is that mangy cat? The captain wants his boots polishing. Cat, come here. Come on, bye-bye. Don't say you weren't warned. Seems so sadly, Cat. Do you feel seasick? Worse. Far worse. I'm lovesick. Was it something you ate? My love is a snowy owl of Lapland. You ate an owl? He's sailing north. I'm sailing south. When, oh when, shall we ever meet? If you go right round the world, you'll meet in the middle because the world is round, you know, because I know that, because I, cause I did it in geometry. I shall sail till I find him, my love. I'm a lady. My troubles, they are 
are great. I'm all alone on board this awful ship. My love is far away. Steers, man. Captain. Port a little. Port a little. Port a little port, Captain, to see you do the down. Now then, tell me, man, how the stores last? I'm keeping the crew deliberate short, sir. As long as they've got their rum, they can live on air for the rest of it. That and the ship's biscuits. How about our special friend? <laughs> How's he there? Just capital, sir. Capital. He's putting it on famously. He'll be just dandy in time for the due date, the equinox. The equinox and the onions. How about the onions? Onions, sir. I'm, I'm afraid we're not quite uh, ship shape there, sir. I'm afraid we may may have to do without the onions. Do without them, I'll tell you what we'll do without a ship's cock. You know my liking. I like onions with my roast pork. The, the, the apples are lasting well, sir. Powerful oh, well. Apples, you say, as in apple sauce? The, the very same, sir, as, as in apple sauce. <laughs> lots and lots of apple sauce. The onions of no consequence, so long as we have apples. They're the ticket. Now, don't you let anything go awry with the apples, unless you want to go swimming for 2,000 miles. Oh, lovely fishes. Ah, <laughs> now then, how are we doing, youngin, eh? Yeah. Timber's still sound above and below the waterline, eh? Yes, Mr. Mate. I mean, aye, aye, Mr. Mate. Thank you all the same for asking. I'm definitely suited to a life at sea. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a sailor when I grow up. Or a captain. Because captains get better food. Oh, that they do, yes. Especially on their birthdays. That's a day for a special feast, as the saying goes. When is the captain's birthday? Is it soon? Oh, that it is, yes, on the equinox. Perhaps I'll make a present for the captain. Just to make myself. <laughs> oh, you'll make a fine present. He'll be very, very pleased. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you, if anything should happen to you, something final, I mean, like, like falling overboard, what would happen to your ring? It'll go overboard with me. But I'm not going to fall overboard. But just suppose you knew something was going to happen and you didn't need your ring anymore. What would you like to do with it? I mean, I wonder. Could I have it? You could. Nothing's going to happen to me. So you can't. You see, it's the owl. We want to get married and we have no ring. So I... So oh, you want mine? Yes. I'll pay you a shilling. A shilling? No. I like my ring more than I like a shilling. Anyway, nothing's going to happen to me. Cat, come on, where are you? The captain's got a job for you. Well, what do you see? Are we near the archipelago? Land not to hoy. No land to be seen with this glass. No land! No land! There must be land! According to longitude and latitude, there must be land! Look again! No large group of islands with tall trees in view. Definitely not. Impossible! I came trapping map reading and finding archipelagos. We must be near the boundary islands. I shall try trigonometry with algebraic equations. And get that cat out! He hasn't blocked my boots in a fortnight! Aye, aye, Captain. I, I brought myself, you see, but I, I fell on my head when I was a youngster. Uh, leave her in the water, boys. There's not enough swell to rock a baby, as the saying goes. We'll keep her out later. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
I don't fancy loin of pork with sunstroke, Cookie. Stir him up, or else put a piece of sailcloth over him. I was bred on a farm myself, you know. Pigs should never be let sleep in a hot sun. As why? Sunstroke. It scorches the skin, makes it peely like. It spoils the look of the crackling. Best speak well. Don't let him eat. Never matter, he can't get off the ship. Pigs can't swim. <laughs> no fly either, as they say. Mustn't upset his eating. He's feeding beautiful. Be just right for Equinox. <laughs> Completely, complete. They're gonna eat me. Ah, oh, so you know. You took long enough to find out. I'm sure I've given you enough clues. They take a pig along. Why do you suppose they were feeding you up? I thought they could like me. Please, don't start squealing. You'll disturb the crew. Why didn't you tell me you had enough chances? I tried, but I couldn't say it straight out or they'd throw me overboard. And I hate water, nasty, wet stuff. Oh, what, what am I to do? I don't want to be vacant. It's as easy as snuff. If you will listen and stop crying. Go up and find out. Uh, yes. Sir. Come on, Ben. We better go off. Come on, come with you. Come on. You must do a reconnaissance. Oh, that is French. As the saying said there wasn't an island in sight. I might be floating around for years. I lied. Bong Tree Island is over there. Three hours rowing should see you safe. And the ship can't follow. Too shallow. But they got other boats. Nasty, fast ones. Leave them to me. Oh, all right. Thank you ever so much. I don't know how to thank you. Well, I hardly like to mention it, but since you raised the question, perhaps one day I may call on you for your ring? Of course. Of course. You can have it as a present. I think we agree the shilling. So a shilling it shall be. I shall call on you with my intended, the owl. Good luck. Just keep rowing. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Oh, 
What's that? What's what? That was on the sea top. <laughs> well, the sea monster is coming, coming for us. It's, it's not, no, it's not. It's a dolphinarium. Let's, let's run for our lives. No, let's no, run. no. It's only a cockroach. It's a huge cockroach going for us. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Drunk aboard my ship. You shall feel for this. You shall feel the cat. Oh, uh, uh, beg your pardon, Captain, sir, but we have seen strange things. Uh, mm. Monsters, cockanurums. You shall see stranger still, like the bottom of the ocean, Mr. Mate. Oh. My glass, my chair, my telescope. Where's the cat? She's behind this. Did I hear my name? Don't you cheat me. Look over the starboard gun. What do you see? I see the sea. What? He's on the sea. Why, I do believe. No, it can't be. It, it looks like a pig. I didn't know pigs could row. It is. It's that pig. I'll splice him to a hedgehog, bind him to a bowsprit with bacon rind, I'll tickle him with jellyfish, and then I'll eat him! Come back! You're my lunch! Dodge the boats! Give chase! My birthday lunch is rowing away! Come here! Come here. Come here. Come here. I promise I'll never speak to strangers again. I'll always help my aunt. I'll always eat up all my greens, except spinach. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, don't let me be the captain's lunch. I'll be ever so good. That is with a will, boys. There's bacon and crackling in that boat. And there's a helping for every man. Jack has helped us land the rock. So, pull, oh, boys, pull. Oh. We'll soon come up with him, Captain. These lads can outrow a whale fish at speed. Forward, brave Tars. Back, lads, back. We're in the drink. Captain, I think we've sprung the leak, as the saying goes. I have often wondered how people would taste if roasted very slowly. I think I will try it with lots of apple sauce. Aye, aye, Captain. Mother. Back to the boats. Swim for it, lad.